When we think about a healer nowadays, we think of a doctor or a pharmaceutical drug or somebody who can operate on us and fix us in some way. But the reality is, is that healing is an ancient technique that used to be passed down from generation to generation. It was wisdom, it was knowledge in regards to rituals, practices, and different healing modalities that would be able to support humanity. And back in the day, the majority of healers were women. It's not to say that men can't be healers or that they're not healers. When we look at ancient civilizations, many of the healers, many of the wise individuals that would support their communities were women. As we're watching this transition occur from the 3D to the 5D, and we're witnessing this 5D birth into this actual reality that we're in right now, we are seeing more and more the need and the importance of healing each other and supporting each other and healing ourselves. And you're watching this video because you're asking yourself and wondering to yourself, am I a healer? And chances are you are. Hello, hi, my name is Charlene Wilzette. I'm an empowerment coach and spiritual teacher. If you are new or if you're returning, a massive thank you to you. If your energy aligns with mine, I hope you give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you different signs that you are 100% a healer and that you are meant to help heal humanity, heal the collective, and most importantly, you begin by healing yourself. Our ancestors knew the importance of healing the mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual vessels that exist within us. Whether it was meditation, whether it was different rituals, whether you used herbs, whether it was sinking and cycling with the moon phases, whether it was working together with Mother Earth and the different cycles of Earth, the different seasons that we experience. And while we have progressed as a civilization and while there have been many advances, one of the things that we have forgotten is how to connect, how to tune in and tap in, how to practice mindfulness and how to practice consciousness and awareness and how our everyday actions, our everyday choices are disconnecting us more and more, not only from our connection to source, to universe, but our connection to ourselves our spiritual vessel, our mental vessel, our emotional and physical vessel. And these signs that I'm gonna share with you in this video will help you to realize one, if you are a healer, and chances are you are if you're watching this video, and two, how to start embodying and practicing and understanding the reasons why these signs are connected to natural healers and how you can start working with them and how you can start understanding and uncovering them so that you can heal yourself and in turn help Help heal our collective. Much of the reason why so much of society is plagued with dis-ease is because of their disconnection to their physical, emotional, spiritual, and mental vessel. Whether it's debilitating illnesses, whether it's depression, anxiety, there's so much to talk about when it comes to dis-ease. And healers are here placed on earth to help ship the dis-ease into ease so that we can embody love, so that we can embody happiness, so that we can embody joy, optimism, and hope, and help to raise the vibration of this earth and help to welcome in this 5D energy that we are shifting into. So if you have any of these signs, it is your time now to serve a higher purpose here on earth and your life purpose, your soul purpose is directly connected to healing the collective. Coming in at number one, you are highly sensitive to energies around you and you pick up on other people's emotions and feelings. You're attuned and you tune in to what other people are currently experiencing at this time. So you can pick up on their fears, you can pick up on their hesitations, you can pick up on their lies, and you can also pick up when they're feeling joy and happiness. Now, yes, this is also known as being an empath or having empathetic traits. The important thing to understand though, as an empath, not only do you tune in, tap in and connect with other people's emotions and feelings, but you also have this calling to want to be able to support them, help them, give them a lending hand or give them a shoulder to cry on in one way or another. That is empathy at its very core. When you see people suffering, not only do you connect and understand where they are coming from, but you hold a certain level of compassion and you also hold a level of understanding for them. You create safe space for them so that they can explore and understand their feelings and so that they have a safe space to be able to uncover what it is that they're currently experiencing at this time. Now, as somebody who is highly sensitive to energies, some of the things that you need to practice is grounding, understanding that you need alone time, and have different rituals or routines to help you protect and preserve your energy. 
as a healer, it's really important for you to protect and preserve your own energy field. And so you're going to want to watch the video after this one where I share with you five different ways to protect your energy. Because if you are a healer and if you have any of these signs that I mentioned in today's video, you need to ensure that you are always protecting your energy as you are being of service to others. And coming in at number two, sensitive beings like animals or children naturally gravitate to you or feel very comfortable and safe around you. You may be going for a walk and all these dogs want to smell you or cuddle up to you or are very friendly with you. Or when you are around children, children naturally tends to want to hang around you, talk to you, share their stories with you, play with you. And the reason for this is because children just like animals, very sensitive beings, individuals who carry and operate from the purest, highest light, which are children and animals, they can sense when someone's energy is awry. They can sense when energy is stagnant or difficult or lower vibrational. They can sense danger. They can sense fear because they don't have necessarily their prefrontal cortex developed. They operate from their fight or flight response and from their emotional response. So your energetic frequency out into this world is letting them know that you are a safe individual to be around and this is why they naturally gravitate to you this is why they feel safe and at peace with you and this is why they want to be around you and also why they feel like you are a person that can protect them or support them in their journey Coming in at number three, you've experienced major trauma or major difficulty in your life. You have faced adversity, you have faced challenges, you have faced a lot of suffering in your life. And now this is a cross to bear in my opinion for healers. The reason why you chose this lifetime of difficulty, challenges, obstacles, and suffering, and lots of lessons to learn, and lots of lessons to experience and go through is because it is in your own journey of trauma, in your own journey of suffering, in your own journey of healing, that you are able to bestow the wisdom, the knowledge, the tools, and the compassion, and the understanding to help other people. You survived the trauma, you survived the suffering, you survived the difficulties and the obstacles that you experienced because as part of your journey, you were actually bestowed gifts and lessons and teachings that you can now pass on to other people and you can support them. And remember that healers come in all different shapes and sizes. So you could be a healer like a therapist, a psychologist, you could be a healer like a Reiki healer, acupuncturist, you could be a homeopathic doctor. There are an array of modalities underneath the title of healing. You will also find as well as you step into your role as a healer for the collective and for this universe one of the things that you start recognizing is that the type of people that are drawn to you are people who have experienced the same type of suffering or trauma that you have for example with me people come to me because they're experiencing their spiritual awakening journey they've gone through some sort of separation in their relationships and they are also a survivor of abuse and so the challenges and the difficulties that I've gone through the trauma that I've experienced the things that I have survived now I can pass on my wisdom my teachings my knowledge onto those other people to support them in their own journey of healing if you experience chronic pain or you have autoimmune diseases or you have had physical ailments and lots of surgeries in your life chances are you are a healer and the reason why those physical ailments come into your body and why you carry the suffering in your physical vessel is part of your healing journey and part of you understanding and discovering why those ailments exist in your body in the first place or why you carry that chronic pain in your life in the first place answering the call from the universe and stepping into your life purpose and being of service to other oftentimes ends up helping you to release and remove the ailments that you carry in your body or the chronic pain or the difficulties that you experience in your physical vessel. I can share with you that when I was little, I had a massive kidney operation. Then at 18, when I was in between my first and second spiritual awakening, I had my gallbladder removed. And then between my second and my third spiritual awakening, I started having really bad IBS. And it wasn't until I finally stepped into my purpose, being here on YouTube, supporting you all through spiritual teaching, through healing, through empowerment coaching, that my IBS subsided. Because it is in those moments where we step into our purpose, when we finally accept our calling, when we embrace our role here in the universe, that our body no longer feels like it's combating and fighting each other. If you can imagine it this way, you have an energetic body and then you have our physical 3D vessel. Your energetic body knows that its purpose is to be a healer, whereas in your physical vessel, you may feel confined 
and is trapped within the 3D matrix of believing that you need to work in sales and you need to sit at your desk for eight hours a day. So your energetic body is not in alignment with your physical vessel and it starts to reject what the physical vessel is doing in this world. And so the minute that you start embracing and accepting that you're a healer and that part of your role here on earth is to help heal the collective and heal others, you may find that a lot of your physical ailments, your chronic pain, the challenges and the difficulties that you're carrying in your life from a physical perspective, the sickness, the illness will go away. Final sign that you are a healer and that you are meant to help raise a vibration on earth and help heal the collective and help heal others is that you know that you are destined for something greater in this world. There is a deep fire within you that feels like it needs to be fueled. There's something inside of you that knows that you are destined for something greater, something more in this world where you realize that your purpose here on earth is not necessarily in alignment with your current career. Whether your current job right now is a job that you like, you kind of like, you really dislike, just paying the bills or whatever it is, there is a pull, there is a calling for you to step in and be of service to others, to help others. One of the things that you may even notice is that you love helping other people, whether it's holding the door for someone, whether it's helping somebody bag their groceries, whether it's helping somebody cross the street, whether it's helping your neighbor, your family, your friends, you're always wanting to be of service to other people. You're always wanting to help other people. And this calling that you have to selflessly give to others, to selflessly support others, and to to be of service to others is a big sign that you are a healer, that you are meant here on this earth to share your energy, to pass on the love, the joy, the kindness, the optimism, the love to the collective and to help raise the vibration here on earth. When you help other people, you feel empowered, you feel energized, you feel fulfilled. You have this energy within you, this feeling within you where you are at peace because you recognize that you're doing something that just comes so naturally to you. So if you have any of these signs, let me know in the comments below and let me know what kind of healer you believe that you are. What kind of healer do you feel like you are? I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.